Did you know that a snail can sleep for three years straight? Don't worry, we're not suggesting you do the same. Now, let's talk about the unsung hero of our daily lives, sleep. It's like the understated superhero, swooping in at the end of the day to rejuvenate us, even though we often overlook its importance. Imagine being a high-performance sports car and sleep is your fuel. Without it, you'd be stranded on the roadside, right? That's what happens to us. Lack of sleep can leave us feeling grumpy, less productive, and can even impact our health. On the flip side, an ample amount of sleep can make us feel like we've just won the lottery. It boosts our mood, sharpens our focus, and heals our bodies. It's like the secret sauce to a healthier, happier life. So if you're trying to turn into a snail, you might want to reconsider. Instead, let's embrace sleep as our personal superhero. Raise your hand if you've ever said just five more minutes to your alarm clock. Don't worry, we can't see you, but we know you're guilty. Ah, the all too familiar dance of the snooze button. We've all been there, right? Our relationship with sleep is often one of love and hate. We crave it when we can't have it and dismiss it when it's available. Now, how many of you believe that you can get by on less than six hours of sleep? Or perhaps you're part of the I'll sleep when I'm dead club. Well, let me burst your bubble. These are dangerous misconceptions. Sleep is not just an idle activity. It's a time when your body recovers, heals, and prepares for the next day. It's like a backstage crew working tirelessly to ensure the show goes on smoothly. So next time you're tempted to pull an all-nighter, remember you're not just losing sleep, you're losing a lot more. And no, contrary to popular belief, coffee is not a sleep substitute. Ever heard that adults need 8 hours of sleep? Well, it's time to bust some myths. Now let's dive into the world of sleep myths, where fact and fiction often intermingle. The first one on our list is the classic 8 hours of sleep rule. While it's certainly a nice round number, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Some people might feel great on 7 hours, others might need 9. It's all about finding your sweet slumber spot. Moving on, how many of you believe in the old wives' tale that counting sheep will send you off to dreamland? Well, if you've been counting sheep every night, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but studies have shown that this technique is actually less effective than simply imagining a relaxing scene. So, instead of counting fluffy farm animals, maybe envision yourself on a tranquil beach, listening to the gentle rhythm of the waves. And speaking of dreams, have you ever heard the saying that eating cheese before bed causes nightmares? Now, while it's true that certain foods can influence our dreams, there's no scientific evidence to suggest that cheddar or gouda specifically play the role of dreamtime villains. So, if you're a cheese lover, go ahead and indulge in that late night snack without fear. Now, here's a big one. I can catch up on sleep over the weekend. If you've been running on 5 hours of sleep from Monday to Friday, hoping to sleep it off over the weekend, I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. Sleep isn't a bank. You can't deposit hours and withdraw them later. Consistency is key when it comes to healthy sleep patterns. And lastly, let's debunk the myth that older adults need less sleep. While it's true that sleep patterns can change as we age, the amount of sleep needed doesn't significantly decrease. Grandma and grandpa may wake up earlier, but that doesn't mean they need fewer zizzes. So the next time someone tells you that cheese before bed gives you nightmares, you know what to say. Now let's put on our lab coats and dive into the science of sleep. You see, our sleep is kind of like a well-choreographed ballet with different stages performing their unique routines. We can broadly divide this ballet into two acts, non-REM and REM sleep. Non-REM sleep is like the warm-up act. It's when your body and mind start to relax and prepare for the main event. Imagine it as the part of the concert where the roadies are setting up the stage, tuning the instruments and checking the sound system. It's not the main event, but it's crucial for the show to go on. This warm-up act has three different stages. The first stage is light sleep. That's like the stretching and warm-up exercises before the actual workout, your heart rate slows down, and your muscles relax. The second stage is when things start to get serious, your body temperature drops, and the brain waves slow down. It's like the moment the lights dim and the audience hushes in anticipation. Finally, the third stage is deep sleep. This is the part where your body gets to repair and rejuvenate itself. Imagine it as the moment when the curtain rises and the main act begins. Then, after about 90 minutes, we move into the star of the show, REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement, and it's the stage where most of our dreaming happens. It's like the grand finale of the concert filled with fireworks and high-energy performances. 
This is when your brain is buzzing with activity, consolidating your memories and learning from the day. But here's the catch. Just like a concert, this sleep show doesn't just happen once. It repeats itself several times throughout the night, with each cycle lasting about 90 minutes. So, there you have it. Sleep is not just a passive act of closing our eyes and drifting off. It's an intricate ballet of different stages, each with its own purpose and rhythm. Who knew sleep was such a complex dance of neurons, right? All right, it's time to spill the beans. Here are 10 golden tips for a good night's sleep. Tip 1. Let's start with the obvious, your bed. Make sure it's as inviting as a hot cup of cocoa on a cold winter's night. A good mattress, supportive pillows, and comfortable bedding are the trifecta of a dreamy sleep environment. Tip 2. Embrace the dark side and I don't mean join Darth Vader. Darkness sends a clear signal to our bodies that it's time to hit the hay. So, invest in some blackout curtains or an eye mask. Your sleep-wake cycle will thank you. Tip 3. Let's talk temperature. Your bedroom should be cool like a cucumber but not arctic cold. Around 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius is just about right. Moving on to tip 4. Say no to late night snacks. Eating close to bedtime can cause discomfort and indigestion. So as tempting as that midnight taco may be, resist the urge. Your stomach and your sleep will both be better off. Tip 5. Break up with your screens at least an hour before bedtime, yes, even your beloved smartphone. The blue light they emit can interfere with your sleep. So let's put those devices to bed before we tuck ourselves in. Tip 6. Establish a bedtime routine. You remember the one you had as a kid? It could be as simple as reading a book, listening to calm music, or taking a warm bath. This signals your brain that it's time to wind down and drift off to dreamland. Tip 7. Limit your caffeine intake, especially in the afternoon and evening. I know I know it's a bitter pill to swallow but trust me your sleep will thank you. Tip 8. Exercise during the day. Not only will it keep you fit, but it also helps you sleep better. Just make sure you don't work out too close to bedtime, or you'll be too revved up to relax. Tip 9. Keep a regular sleep schedule. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day helps regulate your body's internal clock. Yes, even on weekends. Sorry, Sunday sleep-ins. And finally, tip 10. If you can't sleep, don't just lie there tossing and turning. Get up, do something relaxing, and then try again when you feel tired. Remember, your bed is for sleeping, not for stressing about not sleeping. Remember, counting sheep is overrated. Try counting the number of times you hit the snooze button instead. Well folks, it's time to put this video to sleep. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discovered today. We've delved into the unsung hero of our lives, sleep, and examined our complex relationship with it. We've busted a few myths about sleep and dipped our toes into the science that helps us understand its intricate workings. More importantly, we've shared 10 golden tips to help you achieve that elusive perfect night's sleep. Remember, quality sleep isn't just about feeling refreshed in the morning, it's a cornerstone of good health influencing everything from our mood to our ability to learn and create. So, let's make sleep a priority, and not just an afterthought. Let's respect it, understand it, and most of all, enjoy it. Before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Trust us, it's even more satisfying than hitting the snooze button.